here tonight. Uh, I am proud of such a great crowd, a crowd of activists, a crowd of friends, a crowd of supporters, a crowd of people who really know how important it is to organize to mobilize in order to, to have your voice get heard. I was great to be here with my friend George Salem. I had that introduction, I was reminded of a trip George and I took as observers of the uh, election of Palestinian President Abbas. And uh, during that trip to Jerusalem, and I found out where a good friend George was, because he had walked all over Jerusalem looking for my uncle's home. And I didn't even really know where it was. And I was very relieved when we actually found the house uh, so that I could prove to him that I wasn't dreaming about this thing. He's a good friend, he's done a great job. Voice the entire Arab world. As everyone knows, I'm a Republican. You're just a Republican. But when it comes to speaking up for the issues that uh, bind us and bring us together, uh, there's no greater advocate uh, in Jordan Salem. Thank you to Zafi and everyone at the AI, and Hassan, for representation, access, and leadership at the, uh, the Arab American Museum. We had a chance to visit just a couple of weeks ago. It was my first visit. It was my first visit to Dearborn, I'm sorry to say, but I, I did take time to go to the museum, and uh, it's, a, it's a wonderful place. I, I even had no complaints about my picture in the museum. Usually politicians are complaining their picture makes them look too old or too fat. I actually maybe look young and thin, so I'm very, very, very old. Uh, tonight, uh, we're gathering together to highlight such an important mission, uh, the mission that we all share, uh, highlighting our Arab American community as active members of American society. I'm honored to speak to you all about the work, the need for continued unity, about the United States' role in the Middle East, and the need to remain involved in a productive and effective manner to strive for peace. Your efforts, when we say your, we don't necessarily mean an organization name on a banner. We need every single person in this room. You need to work to make sure your lawmakers and your, your leaders stay engaged and that they understand how important these issues are to all of us. You need to recognize, however, that despite some success, we've got a long, tough road ahead of us if we're really going to continue to make progress. We have 450, maybe 500 people here tonight at the conference representing over 20 states, 40 different groups, all endorsing. The Yalla Vote campaign. As George mentioned, we have three individuals, including John Steve from New Hampshire, running for Congress. And I, I really want to salute them and congratulate them on their willingness to stand up and, and get involved. Don't just talk about the need for change or the need for people to think better about these issues, but actually to get involved and run for office. And I wish all of them the best in their endeavors. We are also honored to be joined uh, by several members of the Association of Patriotic Arab Americans in the Military. They represent 3,500 Arab Americans in the U.S. military. If I could ask them to stand up to the uh, And finally, I, I want to also thank all of the organizations that have worked and been so instrumental in making their contribution to the State Department's effort to resettle Iraqi refugees, including the Chaldean community. Thank you very much. It's your great work. The Arab American community's effort to reform an advocate on behalf of groups such as Iraqi refugees, Palestinian refugees, as well as religious and ethnic minorities in the Middle East is absolutely essential. And, and I make that point and remind us all of that point because we recognize the plight of Iraqi refugees or Palestinian refugees, but if we don't stand up, on these issues, we have to ask ourselves, who else is going to do it? So that work and that effort cannot be emphasized enough. Equally important, our continued advocacy at home in Washington, 
you know, address issues such as civil liberties and the work I was proud to do improving civil liberties protections under the Patriot Act, elections in Lebanon, peace in the Middle East. We have to remain focused on all of these issues even when they're not necessarily in the national headline. We can't just come to an issue on a given day or a given week and, and expect that because we're talking about it today, it will be resolved tomorrow. Uh, Congressman Bustani and, and others that I work with in Congress, very close to these issues, they know we have to work with the State Department, Secretary Rice, and President Bush, and, uh, uh, Mr. Hadley, the National Security Council, every single day of the week on these issues to do what we can to make sure they keep them on the forefront. And we're more successful when we're sharing ideas and information with you, because you have perspective on these issues of political significance, regional significance, global significance, and that many in Congress simply haven't been exposed to and they don't understand. The extensive experience in this community dealing with these complexities and conflicts in the region, including the ability to offer unique and important solutions, can't be underestimated. You have to work to keep the U.S. engaged, but also to offer guidance in keeping peace in the Middle East, and I'm committed to working toward that critical goal. And in fact, I recognize my unique responsibility. I'm the only Arab American in the United States Senate. Um, I, I hope that changes, so we get many more Arab American representatives in the United States Senate. But as a member of the Senate of Foreign Relations, I've worked extensively to promote awareness and with your help to make some real success. Uh, I recently wrote a bipartisan resolution that was, uh, I was joined by the uh, chairman and the ranking member of the Foreign Relations Committee, 13 other United States senators calling for free and fair elections in Lebanon, calling for free and independent Lebanon, free of uh, any external forces or influence, and that's the least that we can do for the Lebanese people. In September, along with 36 other senators, I was a original co-sponsor for a resolution expressing the Senate's absolute commitment to a two-state solution to the Israeli-Palestinian conflict and calling for maximum effort from America to help achieve this just end. Finally, as uh, Senator Stabenow mentioned this past week, the Senate voted unanimously to extend a very special immigrant status to Iraqi and Afghani citizens for their help in the United States personnel who are working to resolve conflicts in Iraq and Afghanistan. And it's important that we, we recognize the work and sacrifice and the risks taken by people around the world, and especially in the Middle East, enormous personal risks to help support our national security goals and help achieve a just and lasting peace. These steps are very important, but there's an opportunity and an obligation of all of us to do more. The United States has to stay engaged. We have to work to ensure that differences are reconciled and that the cause of justice and self-determination are served in Lebanon, in Palestine, in Iraq, and across the entire Middle East. In closing, I, I just want to say thank you. Uh, thank you to those that are gathered here that I haven't met before, but that have been consistent activists in the community for issues that are important to us. Those friends of mine that uh, have uh, worked very hard to make sure that I am more effective as a representative for the state of New Hampshire, uh, for the United States, and on all of these issues that are of such importance to us. I'm, I'm very proud to serve in the United States Senate, but I know that it wouldn't happen and I wouldn't be nearly uh, or wouldn't be successful in, in the way that I have been on these issues if it weren't for hundreds if not thousands that stand behind me every single day. I thank you for your friendship, for your dedication to the political process, and I look forward to continuing to work, for, work with you on all of these issues of mutual interest. Thank you very much.